Okay, escorting Pulpo to the airport at the end of the Barvechos storyline in Ghost Recon Wildlands. What's up, guys? I'm Dark Dally, and I wanted to do a little walkthrough of this because this mission took me so many attempts. Now, here I'm actually narrating a playthrough where I did it earlier because this thing took me so many times, not only to get down the strategy right, but to kind of get lucky because I think luck plays a part in this. Now, let me jump into what's going on right now. Um, after you fail, and you will probably fail a few times, you start off on this hill here, and there's only three guys you gotta kill. There's those two guys, the guard houses, and there's a the guy walking up and down the driveway. Now, the first thing with this mission is that right up there in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, it says, reach El Pulpo's hideout without being detected. Well, that's kind of the first misleading thing in this, because you don't have to be sneaky. You just have to run up there, and then when you get to the house, it says, you know, wait for him to come out. So that's the first thing, because, you know, when you do missions in this game and you get that message, you know what that means. It means you have to be super sneaky, and if anyone sees you at all, then you fail. That's not the case here. I don't know why it says that. I know what I do is I get the guy in the driveway. I grab a car, and I would recommend this car right here. I would recommend the Level 2 Rebel vehicle. Now, I stopped leveling up my Rebel car delivery at level two because I didn't want the chopper because I think this thing has more utility. It does for me. If you can't get this for whatever reason, if you don't have it yet or if you leveled up past it, probably an APC would work, but you want something with armor. And yeah, so I am going to show you, I think there is some strategy to this. I don't think it's just getting lucky. Now I say this because when I failed at this like the first 20 times, I looked on the internet and, okay, see here, I'm just sitting here just to get away for him to come out and hop in his Jeep. I looked on the internet, and all I found was other people frustrated because they couldn't do it. Because El Popo here has this habit of switching cars in the middle of the road. He will stop in the middle of the road, run across the street, you know, while under fire from three cars full of cartel gunmen. And he'll get shot down, run over. One time he got blown up. Uh, one time he tried to get into a car that had a grenade by it. Not one of mine, one of theirs. It, it's just ridiculous. So what I found, what you want to do is try to stay behind between him and the guys. I know that sounds kind of dumb and actually took me several tries to realize that. When I first tried this, I was trying to keep the gunmen in my sights so you know I could kill their cars. But I found out really what the trick is, is to see how I'm trying to take up the road. I'm trying to block them from getting to them. I mean, obviously... You know, if you're playing alone like I am, obviously your guys shoot behind you, not just in front of you. It, it seems like it's kind of a silly realization, but I know a lot of people are having trouble with this mission. And this is only the second attempt where I tried this strategy. So after like 20 times of failing, this time it actually succeeded. And the trick is simply just try to take up the entire road. Also, obviously have a good armored car. And of course, I would recommend I have the vehicle... Destruction and vehicle shield skills pretty much maxed out at this time. That's going to help because my truck is definitely in pretty bad shape after this. My truck is in pretty, pretty bad shape after this. And that's with, you know, max points in the vehicle shield skill. So I'd recommend those skills as well. And then it's just a matter of staying between them and El Popo. And just a little bit of luck that he doesn't wreck. See, if he wrecks, it throws off the whole rhythm. Then they get to me, they get past me, they ram him, he switches cars. And so, guys, that's really all there is to it. I'm not saying it's easy. It still requires luck. It requires luck and it requires some skills and vehicle destruction and vehicle shield. But I think there is a strategy in staying between the gunman and El Popo. I'm so happy I finally got this done. And I finally got that damn cowboy hat. And I am now finally done with uh, Barvechos. So, guys, I hope that this was helpful. Because I know there's a lot of other people having trouble with this mission. And yeah, we made it. So, uh, all right, guys, I hope this is helpful. And I hope you like the video. And, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. And hit that like button if you like this video. And if you like the content I'm posting and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, it's been a pleasure. My name is Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.